What is up YouTube, welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered information video. So I've got a lot to talk to you guys about today, so without any further hesitation, let's jump straight into it. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and a subscribe, support the channel, let me know of any improvements down in the comment section down below too. This channel's all about you and it's all about growing at the moment. I've got the dedication, so let's get it pumping, and like I said, let's get this video rolling. So... Call of Duty have updated their website, so if you go to the link in the comment section down below, or even if you just type in Call of Duty online, you will be welcomed by this Modern Warfare Remastered page right here, where you can enter in your death, birth of date, date of birth, god damn it, and you can find out more about Modern Warfare Remastered. However, there's some tiny writing that you can see down there, just above the game mode section, and would it be handy if someone screenshotted it and put a little red box around it? Oh yes it would, and look what I've done, there we go. And this tiny writing has some very, very important information for you guys to read right now, so I'm going to read it out for you guys. At launch, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered will contain only 10 multiplayer maps from the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. We knew that anyway, and the additional 6 maps will be made available by the 31st of December 2016, which is going to be a free update, so guys, don't worry, that's not DLC, that's absolutely fine. Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download. Internet connection is required for disc-based legacy editions of Infinite Warfare on PS4 and Xbox One. Infinite Warfare game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered. Internet connection required for more information. Please visit www.callofduty.com slash MWR underscore FAQ. That link is down in the comment section down below so you can check it out. However, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But the main key part of this right here, guys, is these dreaded words right here infinite warfare game disc must be inserted to play modern warfare remastered there was a lot of talk about a lot of people buying the deluxe edition to get in uh, modern warfare remastered taking back their uh, infinite warfare trading it in and just saying sod it all i want is modern warfare remastered however infinity ward and call of duty right now have decided that they're going to kidnap modern warfare remastered and say that you have to have infinite warfare game disc into play but there is that FAQ on there so let's go and check out the Call of Duty FAQ so I read through it for you guys followed through all the boring shit and I came to this main question here question 5 it's on your screen right now check it out will Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered come as a separate disc they give a different answer for all three consoles so you got the PS4 you got the Xbox One and you've also got Steam PC Master Race whatever you guys want to call it but let's focus on PS4 right now. For, for disc-based physical legacy and legacy pro editions of Infinite Warfare on PlayStation 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download that is redeemed with a voucher inside the box. An internet connection is required to play download the content. The game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered. We sort of got that from the homepage, but as you can read under here, for digital legacy and digital deluxe editions of Infinite Warfare on PS4, there is no game disc or voucher code. An internet connection is required to download content. Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare are two separate downloads, and there is no requirement to have both installed in order to play either piece of content. No game disc is required if you purchase the digital legacy or digital deluxe edition of Infinite Warfare. And that's basically what they say on the Xbox One as well. So basically what that means is if you buy the physical copy, so say you go into your local game, your local GameStop, your local Asda or Walmart, wherever you buy your Call of Duty game from, you buy the disc version, you have to have the Infinite Warfare disc in your console to play Modern Warfare Remaster. However, if you download it onto your account and you download the uh, Digital Legacy or the Digital Deluxe Edition, there is no, you do not have to download Infinite Warfare to play Modern Warfare Remastered. You just need to download whichever one you want to play. However, that still doesn't help because if you've paid for Infinite Warfare and the D Digital Deluxe Edition, you may as well download Infinite Warfare and play that game as well because you can't make any money on it. Once that's on your account, that's it. That's on your account. It's not like you can then sell your account to someone else because then they would act, be able to access your Modern Warfare Remastered. So really, I think that's why they've said that you don't need any download because they know regardless they've made some money from it. Basically what is different down here is Steam. For the disc based physical legacy edition of Infinite Warfare on Steam, installation disc will be provided along with a Steam key that allows you to install both Infinite Warfare 
and Modern Warfare Remastered. An internet connection is required to download the content. Once content has been installed, you no longer need the installer discs to play content. So basically, if you're on PC right now, it's time to rake in the money. You can buy the ultimate edition of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, get Modern Warfare Remastered as well. You can put that disc in, you can download the game, right? And then you can go to your friend and say, hey, give me 30 quid and I'll give you the installation disc for Steam. They then give you that and then they can then download that game and I'm sure PC guys know how to torrent a um, installation disc Steam key for Infinite Warfare, you know. That's what PC users are great about. They can hack into like everything. So Steam looks as though there's going to be a lot of third party money made by people selling off their installer discs and a lot of cracked keys and keygens and stuff like that being made throughout Steam. But who knows, that, that's my personal opinion, let me know if you think I'm wrong. But guys, how do you feel about the fact that to play Modern Warfare Remastered, if you buy the disc version, you have to have the disc in your, you have to have the Infinite Warfare disc in to play? Let me know what you think about that. If you think it's bullshit and you were planning on selling off your Infinite Warfare and just playing Modern Warfare Remastered, let me know in the comment section down below. If this doesn't bother you, like me, it doesn't bother me. Personally, I've been out and brought the digital deluxe edition of Infinite Warfare on my Xbox One, so it doesn't bother me regardless. I was planning on playing both games. Let me know what you guys think if you're in that mind frame. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if any improvements for this video in the comment section down below too. But please remember to leave a like and support the video. Until next time, I've been your boy Prophecy and YouTube. I'll see ya. Fudging later.